Hey everybody, I'm James this is Outlaw Frax. I want to say thank you for being here again. Stay right there. I'm going to run the intro and we'll get right into it. really unpredictable when it's straight and I'm just like wow it's really frizzy. I brought my straightener but I didn't want to be like super dramatic so I didn't bother and now I'm like <laughs> wow I really should have done that. I hate it when mine is all uncontrollable too. Whatever. And mine really has much more of a tendency to be all over the place like if I don't when I get off my bike my beard is just <laughs> blown back. Okay, so we've got two more that we're going to talk about from Okja. Okja. One of them is a clone of Erosia Dove, and this one, Sorcerer, is a company. This is an original fragrance by them. It's not a clone of anything. Okay. So let's take a smell of the Erosia Dove. And I was explaining to her about Erosia Dove and their pricing issues, is how I would call it. Because they're so expensive that, I mean, you have to be ridiculously independently wealthy to in, to purchase. And this one, tell me what you think. Is this that oud stuff? Yeah, this is Roja Dove. This is supposed to be a clone of Roja Dove Oud. So, like when we were talking about the Nova Oud, it's supposed to have a. Uh, yeah, it definitely does. I don't know anything about Oud, but this definitely is it. in there. To me, it's got a really. But it's sweet. Yeah, it's got a little sweetness to it, but it smells. Maybe it was just the originals hit, but I got a really like a soapy sense. I don't smell it now. Oh. I smell. It might be the initial because that's what I was like, smell wafted. Like, yeah. Is that the right? Yeah, it, it, um, I had no idea what this smelled like. I've never smelled the original. I will say that it is, um, it doesn't smell bad, but I don't know if I would reach for this a whole lot. I have other fragrances that are oud that I enjoy more than this. Just off the original, off the, the top, just smell it for the first time. It doesn't smell bad. Maybe after some warnings, I might get to the point where I learn to like it a little more. It doesn't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell sexy. Uh, this is got. It's another like I'm going to work. Yeah. Or. It, it's got um to me. It smells like something that like I, I've said before. It smells like something that a businessman would wear. Yeah. You know, I could see a dude that's making six figures wear this to work with his suit. Mm -hmm. Would I wear this any other time? I probably wouldn't because I've got so many things that I enjoy more. Like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Totally yes. wear that a million times before I reach for this. Yep. Even though this but is... But I would wear this a million times before Moira. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. It's growing on me and that's just like been sitting here under my nose. I will say for 39 bucks for 30 mil bottle of it is not a bad buy just off of the fragrance itself. Like I can't, we, neither one of us can judge what the original oh, yeah. smells like because I ain't got that kind of catch. So just like totally off the jump, how does it smell? Good. Not necessarily life-changing no it doesn't make me want to what i would say is is some fragrances have like a narcotic kind of of draw to them when we say that that means that you just you want to smell it over and over and over like i always spray the back of my hands first of, when you talk and like i talk with my hands and so do you it makes the fragrance go off so people can smell it and the biggest thing is i put it on the back of my hands so that i can smell it oh okay yeah but yeah, as far as, this is not a bad buy for 39 bucks. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a fine smell. Yeah. I think it's very, though, situational. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it would definitely be for something that is like semi-formal and above, or if you have a job that you wear a suit to work every day, 
this is appropriate. Yeah, if you're trying to make a mature impression on somebody, yep. I think that carries that kind of that kind of same characteristic. Is it fun, sweet, playful, and stuff? N no. no, it's. Remember, I was talking about a serious fragrance. Yeah. This kind of has a serious kind of definitely. connotation to it. It's definitely not fun, dangerous, exotic. I can't see me putting this on and having a woman rip my clothes off. Nope. Nope. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had the money to where you could buy the original, women would. You want to know why? Because it's that expensive? Because if you have the money to buy it, you have enough money in your pocket to make just about any woman smile. No! I refuse to... Accept reality? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, I mean, we talked about, we had our dinner earlier, and uh, we had a, a short conversation about what women look for in men okay sure you know and if you've got a guy that can afford 500 hundred dollar bottle of fragrance that means he's driving a super nice car he's dry he's wearing really nice he's a man of with some wealth yes which is no matter what is definitely an attraction for women sure i mean i've been looking for a rich white woman i mean oh my god <laughs> i've been looking for a rich woman my whole life i've never found one but also, even if you had a lot of money, I still want you to smell differently. If <laughs> <laughs> you want me to rip your clothes off. Now this is also, like I said, this is an original fragrance. This actually, oh, yeah, this smells good. This is one of the better ones of the night, I think. Yeah, this has got a little bit more playfulness to it. Oh, I like this a lot. I like this better than this and Moira. Yeah. Yeah. Hands down. Like, why are you trying to replicate stuff? Just keep. Yeah, this your is own a thing. really nice original fragrance. Thank you. <laughs> I was hugging it. Yeah. You can hug it all you want. Yeah. This I like. Yeah. This is different enough. Like, I've got so much stuff behind this. I don't think I have anything that smells quite like this. So. Ocha, you guys did an outstanding job on your original fragrance. Mm -hmm. And this is one thing that I wish more clone houses would do. You, you know, like uh, I have a bunch of duos up there and uh, they focus sometimes on their own stuff. They're a clone house, but they make a lot of their own fragrances. The difference is, is like this is 30 ml bottle, this is $39. The duos up there are all close to 80 bucks. Mm. But uh, I would definitely say I would be more than happy to, to spend that $39. Yes. This I can confidently say yes. Now, if I had to choose between this and... The cherry? The... My favorite? It wouldn't be that. Which would be your favorite? The one. The man of the night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because you really love the scent of cardamom. But I would say it might be a tie between this and the cherry. Yeah. I would say this is much more casual. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I, I, you could wear this in a whole bunch and versatile. Yes. You could wear this in a bunch of different situations and you could dress. This is yep. a casual fragrance. Like I couldn't see me wanting to wear this in a suit. But I wouldn't be mad at you if you did. Yeah. You could do it, but I think I would personally pick. Well, I have the fragrance right. shop behind me <laughs> so if resources are limited yeah it's a great buy you could get away with it absolutely well not only that like we've talked before like this one is a clone of a roja dove which i've never smelled yeah and most people have you ever heard of roja i've never even heard of it and you're like most people mm -hmm. you know so i think both of them are definitely worth 39 bucks I'm really impressed with this. I like that very much. I think out of all of them that we've checked out over this series, my favorite would probably be their version of BK540. <laughs> because it's super close and then would be their version of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which I like. Okay, so because I don't have the same love for the one, two, three diamond Oh, Crushed. yes. BK540. Yes. Eh, I'm just like, eh. 
I, at this point, I don't even remember what it smells like. But I do remember the pepper smell for all the wrong reasons. Yes. And I love this, and I love the cherry. Yeah. So I think from a consumer standpoint, or somebody that's just getting into it, or even if you've got a bunch of stuff at home, none of these came across super cheap. Like, I never got a blast of alcohol when I first sprayed oh. it. Mm -hmm. They sm they don't smell like cheap fragrances. They don't smell like a cheap knockoff. They sm they smell actually really good for what you're paying. This one, I'm really impressed with. Yep, I'm really impressed with this. I think because I was a little disappointed by some of the clones. That it was just gonna be like okay. Yeah, I was really disappointed <laughs> in their their hair. Yes. By Parfumist Mr. Marley. So it was just kind of like. You know, like, if this is why, if you had a blueprint kind, mm -hmm. then what are they possibly doing here? But this, I think, blew some of the dupes out of the water. Yeah, I think so, too. This, if I had to pick, this one. Yeah, no actually, hesitation. even if the, this is a dead-on <laughs> clone of the original. Fuck that sound. Yeah, I'd still <laughs> like this one better. I would not pay trillions of dollars to smell like this yeah well in this case you don't have to it's only 39 bucks and i wouldn't send that either. yeah this would be a hard pass for me well no i can't say a hard pass this it's situational would be, yes very situational and potentially a just like a gift of like you know your lawyer uncle or some relatives that you don't want to smell attracted to but they do something important <laughs> yeah i love the way you put that I don't want to sm I don't want you to smell like I like you. Yes. That's what this to me is. A good gift for you an whatever. uncle, a dad or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. No, I agree. Not if, I mean I'm not telling PE coaches what they should smell like, but again, like a very situational like I'm in an office or I'm in this. Yeah. Kind of swag is what the smell has. Yeah, I, I agree. I've smelled some of Roja Dove stuff and I've been absolutely impressed. Like they have one that is called um, E Creation, which I like a lot. They've got Danger. They've got a whole line of. They're a little bit lower priced than like what this was, because they're considered their cologne line. Okay. But they're still expensive. They're like 250 bucks a bottle. Yeah. But uh, this one, I don't think I'd spend a whole ton of money on. Forty some odd bucks. Hey, nice. And we let that squeak by. Like, I wouldn't be mad. Right. Wouldn't be mad that I spent $39 on this. Definitely. You know, but I think you're absolutely right. This would make for a great gift for an older gentleman or a mature gentleman. Yes. And I think especially going back to when we were talking about the packaging even and the presentation, like 40 bucks. Yeah. I dig these little bottles. And somebody else, I remember, brought it up. These look like Chanel bottles. Mm hmm they're not quite as classy because on the Chanel bottles, they're all chamfered on the sides. Uh, you know, and the black is actually on the inside, so the Chanel bottle looks glossy, and this is matte. But yeah, for what they are, they look great. The only drawback to this bottle being black is, yeah, it's so black, you, you have no idea how much is left. So if you like it, you, one day you're going to be like, oh, it's fucking empty, and you'd mm -hmm. never be able to see it. But definitely good. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody make sure to leave a comment. Say hi to Monique. Monique has her own YouTube channel. But you haven't put up any... <laughs> don't, don't advertise <laughs> that. I don't do anything on there. No. But she has, in the past, you've came in and you've commented on... Yes. On videos on this channel. So I want to say thank you for doing this with me. Thank it's you always, for having me. Always a pleasure. And then who doesn't like to have a pretty girl sit next to him? So it's a win-win. I really wanted to make a gross face at the camera for you saying that, but... Yeah, yeah, I've seen your gross faces before. They're not even that bad. Which one of these? Thank you. You're very welcome. Now I will have a YouTube channel. Hey guys, it's me <laughs> in my sinful lingerie. That's, that's right. You know what, if you made a YouTube channel in lingerie, People, will, no matter if you sit and talk complete utter nonsense. See, I really want to make a YouTube channel in lingerie, but for the MCAT studying. For the MCAT studying. 
the test to get into where it's like a entrance exam test for in lingerie huh well you know what you definitely would be remembered well it's not for medical school i hope they would never see that but i want to <laughs> be a tutorial for people also studying for the test you know what I, I most men would shut the volume off and just watch you or they are also studying and what better way to learn than by watching a chicken lingerie I wouldn't have the mental stability to sit there and function on a subject You'd be that's passively consuming the content like osmosis I mean not like that but <laughs> I don't know just a thought I'm have, stuck on that thought right now. That I haven't actually done. But it's something I've thought about. <laughs> you make me smile. I, have I ever thought about doing... Nah. Lingerie has never really been... It's hard to find stuff that fits me and complements my figure. <laughs> I don't believe you. Okay, just don't tell anyone. <laughs>